Well, Con Ed workers are almost as identifiable to New Yorkers as the NYPD or the FDNY. But 20 years after the attacks of 9-11, you may have forgotten the role that they played in getting the city and the nation back on its feet. News 4's Gilma Avalos reminds us. It was a part of my life I will never forget. When you think of the people who responded to the 9-11 attacks, you might picture heroes like firefighters and police officers. But on one of the darkest days in this city's history, a Con Ed team worked around the clock in the World Trade Center debris field to get the lights back on in lower Manhattan and then some. We got a call that the substation that's in this building was on fire. Matt Ketchke, now president of Con Ed of New York, was a field supervisor at the time. Seven World Trade was home to a Con Ed substation. It would eventually collapse as the Twin Towers came down. When that tower collapsed onto Seven World Trade, it took out critical Con Ed infrastructure. It's what powers most of lower Manhattan. And when first responders rushed in to help, so did Con Ed teams. Their first priority, the safety of first responders looking for survivors. You had a, a steam, a high pressure steam supply and a high pressure gas supply going in there that, you know, if those were left open, that was more hazards. Then getting the lights back on. At one point, 2,000 Con Ed employees and contractors worked around the clock using hand tools and under the threat of additional building collapses. It was bypass surgery. How do we go around this piece of critical infrastructure? This was the heart of the area for power. And with the eyes of the world watching, they made this triumphant moment possible. The New York Stock Exchange reopened just six days later. How proud were you of that symbolic moment? It was an incredible feeling for, I think, all of us working at the time to be able to say that, you know, we will fight back. We will be able to overcome this. Just a week after the attacks, power had been restored to 98% of lower Manhattan. Today, a new modern substation stands in place of the one terrorist destroyed. Seven World Trade remains a critical artery for lower Manhattan, but it's also a testament to the power of New Yorkers, the power of its people. A lot of people wanted to do something, and my colleagues and I at Con Ed, we got to work on something, and it, there was a sense of accomplishment and being able to do something. Gilma Avalos, News 4 New York.